Thank you, Chris. And given that kind of heat, we're making sure our most vulnerable populations know they have resources in the days ahead. Gonzaga's Center for Climate, Society and the Environment recently released a report on the 20 heat-related deaths that happened during last year's heat dome. As Emily Bloom explains, in this extreme heat, our community is offering a place to cool off and a resource to get there. Cooling stations give the community a great way to stay cool through the heat wave, but for those who may not have the resources to get there, Spokane Transit Authority is reminding us they're available to help out. If you need a lift to beat the heat, STA is here to help. They're offering rides to anyone searching for a place to cool off. On days when it's forecast to be 95 and above, we start to look at our humanitarian efforts to make sure that people are staying safe. STA is offering transit to four libraries currently operating as cooling centers. For those that don't typically take the bus, there are multiple ways to plan your ride. One of the best resources we have is our website, SpokaneTransit.com. We have a trip planning feature. You just plug in the, the address of where you're starting and the address of where you're going, and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. And for those who may not use computers... They can also call 328-RIDE and speak to one of the customer service reps in our call center, and they'll actually plan the ride for, for you and let, let, let you know where you need to go to board the bus. And if someone boards the bus but doesn't have the fare, STA will waive the fee. You just need to tell the operator you're headed to or from a cooling center and the driver will make an exception. Our goal is to, to make sure that everybody is safe and when the temperatures are above 95 degrees, we know that, that we start to see issues. So uh, if you're at home and you need a place to go and you, you don't have the fare, don't worry about it. STA routes run past the time of cooling center closures, so you will be able to get home. And if you don't have the means to pay for your return fare, that one will also be waived given the emergency weather conditions. Reporting in Spokane, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.